morning Terrell. Here we are again and today I'd like to just explore a little bit about the changes coming to the Emoluments Act. I understand there are going to be changes in terms of how companies deal with them. There seems to be more responsibility being given to the employers because now there's a maximum that somebody can pay or pay as a portion of their of their salaries. So it's 25%. So if a garnishee or emolument attachment order goes over that 25%, it is also the employer's responsibility to go with the employee or on their own to basically get that um, emolument reduced so that it falls underneath the 25%. And it has to be done within a particular time frame. So I'm guessing it would be useful to have a payroll system that automated some of this and gave you warning if you were approaching that deduction level on a particular employee. That, I think, Cathy, that would be very practical because it, it, does, it does otherwise mean that every time somebody gets a garnishee, the payroll department has to then go through mm -hmm. any previous garnishees, add them up and make sure that they are a, a percentage or underneath the 25, so automating that would make a lot of sense. So more work for payroll people going forward. It's always more work for payroll people. The other thing I think we should think about in terms of this, that is one of the clauses that is in there is that the no cost um, clause is actually coming out in, in terms of going to court over emolument attachments. So there's a lot for employers to think about. Do you think we'll be discussing this at the Jackie Aronsa workshop at the end of October? I'm sure Jackie will be covering this in our seminar. Thank you, Kathy.